What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this one, we're going to be looking at how to create your own game backups of your retail games so that you can run them without the original license, whether you have a game on disc, you'll be able to run it without the disc, or if you bought a game from the PlayStation Store and you're still able to run it on your jailbreakable PS4 right now, you can create a backup so you can run it on other jailbreakable PS4s, other profiles, without that original license as well as also potentially running it in a future emulator for the PC at some point, you'll be able to have a backup that you can use for that. And it just gives you more control over how you use your games. So what I've got here is Bloodborne, a disc copy of the game. And if we hit options and go to information, you can see I'm on update version 1.09. So we'll also create a backup that has the latest update that we have installed here as well. So the backup copy will be on the same game version. And if we go on the game, I also have a save file here. So we want our backup copy to also have access to the same save files. So we'll set everything up so that we have all of that done. So what we're going to do first of all here is close out of our game. And there's a few different methods that you can use to create your own game backups. One of them is to use the dumper payload. The other method is using items flow. And you can even do it using FTP by transferring the files over the network. Uh, which is a bit more complicated. So we're just going to go ahead and use the items flow method, which seems to be the easiest method to do this right now. So items flow can dump the game to the internal hard drive or to a USB drive. So we're going to dump it to a USB drive. So you need to get yourself a USB drive, connect it up to your computer, make sure it has enough storage space for the game and the update and any DLC that you have installed. And also right click on the USB drive on Windows and go to properties and check that the file system is XFAT. It needs to be XFAT, not FAT32 or NTFS. It needs to be XFAT format. And then plug that USB drive into your PS4. And we're going to run the Items Flow Game Manager. If you don't have this Homebrew app installed, you can download it from the Homebrew store. And if you don't have the Homebrew store installed, then check out the first video in the playlist, which goes over how to set up the jailbreak and install the Homebrew store. So once we get into Items Flow, you can see it detects our game that has the disc inserted for Bloodborne. So we're going to select our game that we want to dump. And we're going to go over to the Dump option and press X on Dump. And you have a few options here. You can dump all... You can dump just the base game or the patch or just the DLC. We're going to select the option to dump everything and just press X on that and that will start dumping the game. So what it will do first of all is it will run the game. So it launches the game first and then it will switch back to items flow to dump it because the game needs to be running in order to dump the files because the files don't get loaded into the sandbox directory until the game is running. So once the game's running, the game files are accessible and it's going to dump those over to the USB drive and it gives you a progress bar showing you the progress and you're just going to wait for this to complete. Once it's done the game, it will then go and do the patch and then we don't have anything else installed so it will just be the game and the patch for this particular game and then it will be done. Now what Items Flow also does is it gives you the option to create the GP4 file automatically. So if you say yes to that, if the game has thousands of files, it could take a really long time to generate the GP4 file so it might look like it's stuck generating GP4 for a long time, but it is actually working. You just need to give it enough time and it will generate the GP4 file. So just wait for it to complete. And once it's done, it should say it has completed without errors. If it says without errors, then it should have dumped all of the files successfully. So once we have all of the files dumped here, we're going to switch on over to our computer, unplug that USB drive and plug it back into your PC. Okay, so back on the computer, if we go back into our USB drive, if it says dot complete, if you have these dot complete files, that means it has completed dumping successfully. If it says dot dumping or something else, then that means that it did not finish dumping all of the files. Maybe you unplugged the USB drive too early or there was some other problem. But we can delete those files here and we have our folders. This one is for the game. This one is for the update. And inside we have our GP4 files that are already generated for us. And what we need to do is generate these into a fake package file that we can then use to install on any other jailbreakable PS4 and have it running without the original disk in this particular case. So what we're going to do to do this is download a program called the Fake Package Tools. It's actually a collection of programs here, the Fake Package Tools from CYB1K. We're just going to download this. The link will be in the video description and extract it out somewhere on your computer. So I've got it extracted here to my desktop. So if we open up this program, we've got a bunch of different tools here. Now we want to generate the GP4 file first. So 
the items flow dumper actually generates a gp4 file for you so you could just use those gp4 files that were generated for you but if you did not select the option to generate the gp4 file in items flow then you'll have to generate your own gp4 file and if you generate your own one in the fake package tools it will also add compression to the final packages which will make them slightly smaller than if you use the ones that are generated with items flow i'm just going to delete these gp4 files that are automatically generated so this one and this one we're going to get rid of those and instead we're going to go into the folder where we've got our game dump and copy the file path up here so copy that file path and then we're going to open a program called gen gp4 underscore app exe and paste in that file path in here and generate the gp4 file so depending on how many files you have it may take a while bloodborne has a surprising number of small files i think it's got thousands of files in here so it takes a while to get all of these added to the gp4 and then once it says it's done you can then save the gp4 file by doing save.gp4 and i'll just save it to the root of the usb drive and there we go done so next we need to do the same thing with the patch so we're going to open gen gp4 patch.exe this time and if we go back into our usb drive go back to this time the patch folder and we'll copy the path to the patch folder and paste it in and generate the gp4 file okay there we go it is now done so we can save gp4 and again i'll save it to the same location all right, that's it. So now we can go into the fake package tools, run orbispubgen.exe and open those GP4 files we just generated. So we can go to file, open. We'll select the first one here and open. And then we can go to build, select an output location for our built package. We're building the fake package file here. So again, I'll just select my USB drive because I know it has enough storage space, but just select somewhere that has enough space available and then click build. So we're now building the fake package file that we can use to reinstall back onto our jailbreakable console and at which point it should no longer require the license so we'll be able to run that fake package file without having the disk inserted okay there we go create image process finished with warnings warnings is fine that's to be expected as long as we don't get an error so that's fine so we can close out of this and now open the next one so if we go to file open we're now going to open the patch gp4 file this time we'll click open on that then we need to go to command project settings go to patch and then for the application package it looks like it's already got it entered there for me it might not for you basically you need to select the original game package to build this update from so we're going to select the original game package so this original game package file here that we just built that's the one that we want to select so we'll click open and click ok then we can build the patch file here by clicking build and selecting the output path again i'll just select my usb drive here and we will build and this is building the 1.09 game patch a fake package version of that so that when we reinstall the game we can also reinstall this fake package version of the update so that we're back on the exact same game version that we had originally and now we just wait for this one to finish okay and this one is also complete so we can close it uh do i want to save changes nope i think i am good so if we head back to our usb drive you can see we've got all the files here so we don't need uh, that file there and we don't really need the gp4 files or the game dumps anymore although i would install your packages first make sure they work before you delete the original dumps but what you want to do is if you have copied them somewhere else if you used a different location then copy them to a usb drive to the root of a usb drive the built package files that you just created and we're going to try and install those back onto our ps4 and make sure they work so we're going to unplug our usb drive and plug it back into our ps4 okay so back on the ps4 we're just going to exit out of items flow and we're going to have to first of all eject our game disc that we still have in here remove the disc and delete the game now the reason why we have to delete the game is the fact that the game backup is for the same exact version of the game the same title id so they'll cause a conflict with each other it'll ask you to overwrite the original anyway if you try to install uh, the game backup so now that that's gone we can install our game backup by going to gold hen debug settings package installer and we will just hit install all to install the game and the 1.09 update so we'll say yes install all packages and we now have our backup copy installed so 
if we head back, you can see there is same exact game version, same exact game update installed just as before, except it is now a fake package version, which means this particular version will not run when the jailbreak is not running. Obviously, you need to be running Gold Hen in order for this to be available so that you can launch it. But the upside is that we no longer need the disk to run it. So I don't have the disk inserted, but I'm still able to launch the game. And in addition to that, of course, we can run this on other jailbreakable PS4s, other profiles. We can run this on maybe some future PS4 emulator that comes out for the PC one day. So yeah, as you can see, we are up and running. We'll just make sure that our save file still works here. Uh, when we created the dump, we dumped the, the keystone file for the save game. And so that was rebuilt in the fake package version, which means our existing saves should still work. So there we go. We, we have our continue option. So it looks like our save file still works. We'll see if it loads us up into the same spot uh, as we were before with the retail version. And yep, there we are. We are back in the game in the exact same spot, loading the same save file, except we have a version that can run without the game disc now. So yeah, that's how you create your own backup copies of your PS4 games. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.